So the first thing I'm showing here is the keyboard mode button. When it's illuminated, you can use the plus minus keys to go up and down in the menu, but when it is not illuminated, it's just for musical notes. So it's important that you press that when you want to navigate menus. Next up, you'll see me using two separate buttons to switch through two separate menus. This first red button cycles through the menu in the blue at the top. You'll see the little light change, whereas the second white button that I'm hitting cycles through the menu in the small blue screen, which you'll see in the bottom. For the rest of this video, we'll be covering features of the device which can be accessed through these menus. So you'll see me hitting specifically the second white button for the menus and I go until I see only one illuminated dot on the very right. You'll see in this display there's three digits and there's a dot after each. So I don't want the first dot, I don't want the second dot, I only want the third dot. We're in song mode. Then out of the keyboard mode we can use the plus minus to select our song and then we hit a two button sequence to go ahead and play the song. And then while the song is playing, you can illuminate the keyboard mode button to go ahead and lock the keyboard from playing notes. From there, you can go ahead and hit the buttons to access different parts of the song. This will go ahead and skip around in the song or go back a bit if you need to practice something. If the keyboard mode button isn't illuminated, you can of course play along with the song. And for anyone that has one of these but doesn't have the instruction pamphlet, these are all of the names of the songs along with their numbers. So this next feature in Japanese translates as reverb. It is meant to be the reverb of a room. The higher the number, the larger the room we're in. And the next one translated as afterglow, which is more of an artificial reverb or sustain. First we're looking at the room reverb. Take a look and see that the first to last box in the menu is illuminated. And you'll see me just going ahead and increasing that number and showing how the tone changes. And of course we check the afterglow and increase the number and see how it changes. Notice that the menu has switched and the last box in the menu is illuminated.
By now you've seen me changing the menu settings by hitting the plus and the minus and it can take a while. There is a way to go ahead and center the reverb in memory by doing a memory reset. It just involves holding down two buttons before turning the power on and then keeping them held until you see the lights flash. For those interested, I've demoed the combos of the different reverb types over the different instrument sounds. If you're not interested, go ahead and skip ahead to the next section. So next up is the sequencer. There's four tracks that you can record four different things on. I hit the sequencer button and it pops up one on the menu showing that track one is selected. The next you'll see me hitting the red button to zoom through the menu. I'm doing this just to show that it doesn't actually matter where in the menu you are using this red button. The white button is a completely separate menu so hit it once and you're on the track selection. Again, make sure you hit the keyboard mode button to illuminate the light so that you can use the plus minus to select the track number. Then there's a two button sequence for recording, left button then right button as shown, it'll go into recording mode. And the stop button for when you want to stop recording. That second button we originally hit for recording, you hit for playback. You'll see I hit stop one more time and then we go to the next track and we can do it again. You can also play along during playback. And one last thing of note, you can change instruments during the recording. This device can also be a vocal trainer. You can use the microphone input while you're playing demo songs to go ahead and match the pitch. TRS connection. Connected. In. Then you'll see me start a demo song and sing along absolutely terribly. Check, 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 check. The box over here shows that the microphone input is on and the one over here is the matching. You can see that if it's at the center point, it means I've matched perfectly, which I don't do.
and for microphone connectors, I wanted to point out really quick, we have TSTRS and TRRS. Just a quick demo showing that TS and TRS both work. TRRS will also totally work. If you enjoyed, then like and subscribe for support or samples, Patreon site. If you hate my content, I will not lie to the corner I go where I will cry.